Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kristen Otto of Grander Marlin Sport Fishing and uh, GZ Lures. Uh, we've got a product view for you today. We're gonna go over uh, the R&R Tackle Clips. Um, just got these in at GZ's, been getting great feedback on them. Uh, but prior to getting them in, we've heard nothing but good things. Uh, so we want to kind of give you the good word on these, give you an honest review, and uh, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so here's the r, r Tackle Release Clips. They come in packs of two. I left some in the packaging so you can see how, how they are presented. And I took a few out so we can talk about these a bit more. Um, so, with that being said, let's get going here. Um, We've heard really good stuff about these clips. They have been around for a little while, so people have been able to, to use them, put them through the tests, and, and, and get some time on them. Uh, you know, most notably, we've heard some really good remarks about them from our pro team captain, Marty Bates, and a lot of other captains have really said some great stuff about them. Andy Moyes, um, a handful of just really good uh, Marlin captains have had nothing but good things to say about these clips. I'll be pulling them this season, and you know, true to the GZ motto, we're not just carrying anything just to like a tackle store just to try and get it out there. We 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 carry the best stuff out there. We're going to be carrying what the pros are using. We're not going to put anything out there to you guys that we wouldn't be using ourselves. That 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 you know isn't the industry standard for the professionals. So with that being said, let's get going on uh, some details with these. I had a bit of a conversation with Ray Rocher. Uh, Ray is the inventor of these clips and you know basically he was down there in Australia off the uh, Great Barrier Reef fishing for giant black marlin and um, they pull really big baits over there swimming you know skipping baits they need a lot of hold in their clip so he wanted to design a, a clip at first that can go from zero to 20 pounds easily and you know be a smooth transition out of the clip so he designed a uh, clip that is able to really crank down if you need that Obviously, if you're lure fishing, you're not going to need nearly that much drag on that. These will work just as good at 8 pounds or 9 pounds or 10 or whatever you're setting your lure setting on on these. Um, but they will also be able to hold a very heavy thing in the rigger on your shorts. So if you, maybe if you're pulling a spreader bar for giant blue fin tunas or if you're pulling some big baits or whatever you're doing and you, if you really need that drag, these things are capable of holding beyond 20 pounds in the clip here. The next thing that he focused on was, as you can see, there's there's a, a ball in here and it allows your clip to move around. And this is gonna give you a smoother transition from the rod tip to the clip to your bait. It's gonna give you uh, the best transition possible. Uh, that's a really cool thing that hasn't been ever done before. So that was the other thing. And um, the other part about it is your actual bar that releases. This is really thick. If you compare this to anything else out on the market, this is, this is really thick and it's also hand polished. Now what this is going to allow you to do is, is if you're one of the trollers that likes to run your line directly through this clip so you can tease a fish out of the clip or whatever, you're going to be able to just put it in here and never have to worry about any type of chafe. Same thing if you're doing running kite baits or something, you can just put it in here without the ring. You're not going to have to worry about any chafe here. These will also work just as good on your tag lines. If you have your Dacron with the loop, you can pop it in here and use it just the same way. And yes, these will rig to work on your tag lines or straight on the halyard as, uh, as is traditionally done. Another important aspect of this clip that I wanted to make sure I, I went over with you guys um, is that what you'll notice on these clips when you turn them over right here, you'll see a P and you'll see an S, okay? Um, and basically that is uh, port and starboard, okay? So the way these are set up, and when you get them, you'll, you'll, you'll have, when you get them, you'll have this bead right here set up like this. So before, if, if you end up cutting that off or whatever and, and rigging it however you feel you wanna have it rigged, just keep an eye on the orientation of where this one is. So this is the port one, okay? And keep an, ear, an, an orientation on where the bead is. You want this white bead to be closest to the angler. Okay, so you want uh, 
basically you want the clip sitting this way on your on your halyard, okay? Um, it's not the end of the world if you do it upside down. However, that is the best way to do it, and that's why they do have the port and the starboard sides on it, and that's why they are come with a, a white bead on this, so that you can be aware of the orientation and how you want it. So again, you'll, you'll notice on them a P and an S, and then you'll notice that the bead you want to have closest to the angler, okay? So if you're obviously, if you're buying, you're gonna hook up four riggers, buy two packs. You'll have a port and a starboard in each pack and you'll be set to go. Um, so for the, that, you know, I, I wanted to just run a couple tests on these myself. I wanted to see what I could, you know, how much I could get these things to pull on and also how consistent the release was on them. And, you know, I just I just did a few little, little tests here and there on them and, um, Basically what I found was the pull out of these is extremely consistent and extremely smooth. So, uh, you know, for instance, I set this one a while ago and it continues to still pull at the same pounds that I had wanted it at. I set it at nine pounds and I basically just pulled it, pulled it a bunch of times and you know over time over time and every time it hit the, the mark on my drag scale that i wanted it to hit and that was really pretty cool i could do it and sit it and leave it here for a while and come back and do it so it's a clip that you can depend if you set it on you know oh i want my lure popping out at eight pounds you can set it on that and and really uh you know almost forget and 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 it'll it'll hold that um the next thing was you know how much draft you know how much pull can i really put on these things so, you know, I, I set them and I didn't even crank all the way down. I did a few turns on this knob, okay? And that's the other thing, these knobs turn really easily. Some of the other clips are really difficult. Sometimes you even have to get pliers or something to do it. These move really easily by your fingers. Um, and I mean, I, I set them, and I mean, <laughs> I'm at 35 pounds. I'm at 35 pounds there and, and this thing still isn't popping out. So these things are really capable. They're really strong. Now, with that being said, you need to be really careful uh, because of how strong these are. Your mate needs to understand that a couple clicks on this can mean the difference between 10 and 20 pounds or something. So, you know, if you're out fishing and it's super rough and your 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 bait keeps popping out, and then you know you, you're, your your crew's used to an older clip and he just goes over and tightens it and puts it back up in the halyard you know, you, you could risk ripping your rigger right off or, you know, you are bending your, you know, doing something uh, damaging. So you need to be careful with that. They are super powerful. Uh, if you are adjusting them, just make sure you test them before that. Uh, beyond that, these guys are just seem like really great clips. We're stoked on them. We want you to go check them out. So jump on gzlures.com, go have a look. We got these in stock. Everyone that's bought them so far has had nothing but good things to say to them. And um, if you have questions or concerns, shoot them over to us. We're happy to always answer questions, help with any rigging ideas, whatever need be. And hope you like them and enjoy them. All right, gzlures.com.